Obviously, telcos are very concerned about 5G network build out and investment in that. And there were big concerns early on in the development of 5G that there would be lots and lots of congestion uh, mm. with the first, uh, first 5G deployments in city centers and that people would somehow get a bad service that would put them off 5G because that had previously happened with 4G and 3G where you, you, know, you release the service and then users basically overwhelm it. But of course, this hasn't happened through the pandemic because so many people have been working from home on Wi-Fi. And of course, Wi-Fi means that even if you're using your iPhone or your smartphone, you're actually using the fixed line network, that actually the 5G networks have been able to quite gently uh, develop in, uh, in urban areas because we haven't had, you know, in the middle of Brussels or the middle of London or in the middle of Berlin, millions of people at rush hours overtaxing the network. So in actual fact, for, for some of the deployment possibilities, it's been much smoother than it would have been without the pandemic. 